Hi, uh, crafters, Amy here, and today I have a happy Pappy's Day Father's Day card. Now I have this awesome panel, which I previously used a gel press and a stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. I have some dies here that I'm going to use. I'm going to use an embossing folder, which you all know I love these 3D embossing folders. And I have a card base here of 120 pound cardstock. Now here's a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. But I was able to kind of pull this together quickly since I had so many components ready to go. So I did cut that panel down with the wonky stitched edge rectangle die from My Favorite Things. And I did keep that extra little strip to put on the inside. Now this Happy Dad's Day I, is actually a die from Lawn Fun. And after I cut that out, I quickly ran it through my organic organic linen 3D embossing folder. So you can see I'm just going to kind of put the components together. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now the reason I say Happy Pappy's Day, it's, it's actually how my dad used to call it to his dad. So he would say it to my grandpa and it always just made me laugh that it kind of stuck with me. So um, I call it that sometimes when I'm wishing my dad a Happy Father's Day. So um, Anyway, that's my little, my little story, but I'm going to put this little strip on the inside of the card and then attach this stitched edge panel to the front of the card and then basically put all the components together. Now this is the hound's tooth stencil on this panel. This is one of thousands of amazing stencils in the shop at A Colorful Life Designs. If you aren't familiar, it's a small woman-owned business in Texas and she manufactures them all herself. And I do have a coupon, Amy Fan 10. So if you're in the market for some stencils, she even has some stamps and amazing card bling in the shop now. And you can use my coupon, Amy Fan 10 and save 10% on your complete order. So there I was just trimming off a little bit of the overhang on that little strip on the inside and I decided to do a gray shadow layer just to kind of help it pop off the background a little bit but overall it's still pretty flat. Um, if you wanted some dimension you could pop it up on some fun foam. Now here is the card bling I was talking about. This is also from A Colorful Life Designs. She keeps adding to the collection. There's so many delicious colors. These are like little confetti embellishments for the front of the card um, and I do end up going with this light um, green one here. It's, I think it's light, uh, forgot the name of it. I will link it below in the video description box, but there's so many different options now in the shop, beautiful colors, different finishes, different neutrals. So all the things to suit your fancy. And I have those amazing containers to hold them all. So it makes my, my magpie heart happy. So <laughs> just going to put a smattering of these down in odd numbers across the composition, three on the top, two on the bottom. And then I decide to add a sub sentiment on the inside. These are tailored expression, simple strips. She also um, sells these boxes to store them, which is immensely helpful. So I will link those as well below. Um, if you use any of my affiliate links, it's no additional cost to you, but it really does help me out a lot. So I'm finding one that's in the nice gray to match that little drop shadow that I created. And it says the man, the myth, the legend. So I'm going to liquid glue that on the inside of the card real quick, and that's going to finish the design. So I was able to use quite a few components that I had already batched and ready to go in terms of the, the panel and the card base and the sentiment strip, and the rest didn't take much time at all. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to see you here again. Thanks for watching. Bye.